Hey guys, Kevin. Kevin's RC Garage. We're uh, actually out in the uh, den today. We have a fire in the uh, fireplace going on, being all comfy and shit. So what we're gonna do today, my wife is going to work on her beast. SCX24, C10, trio purple wheels, it's got Trio Purple Ink. That lighting is crap. So, that double barrel shocks. I built a course in the basement. Well, not enough weight on the front end for the tires to grip. So, we're going to put a set of brass knuckles in it. And then, just because they're cool and they're aluminum and they're purple. We got a set of trio high clearance links to put under this thing. If my camera would zoom, my phone would zoom. That's right. You can get them on Amazon or you could get them on trio uh, RC. So my wife is going to work on her truck today. She's going to put or attempt to put parts on hers. Now my new Jeep. You got a little pretty nuts with this thing, building it. You got the metal bumpers, extended shocks. Put a bunch of weight in it under the, and the brass knuckles. I got the weights behind the wheels, did wheels and tires. Uh, and well, I got about 10 minutes of runtime out of it and the servo died so i had ordered it in advance but i got the in injoro set up with the emax servo it's got the emax servo it's got the mount and the servo horn as you can see the wheels are green the shocks are green so we're gonna do all green accessories on this thing so we're gonna get started and uh We'll keep it, we'll pop in in and out as we go. Because sometimes videos get time consuming when you're doing all this work. So we'll do uh, bit by bit what we're doing as we do it. Alright, as I said, we're pop in and out. So I'm getting my parts laid out. I'm going to take my servo. And I'm going to trim this one corner off. That way, it clears the frame once you get it in. Take a little bit off. And then I'm going to put it in the bracket, mount it to the bracket. Before I even start taking anything apart, I'll, I'll pre-assemble some of the parts outside of the truck that I can. line everything up properly All right, servo's on its mount. So now, it's got a humongous wire. The stock servo, the wire's only about, ain't about that long. This one's that long. So we're gonna take one of our tools and we're gonna wrap the wire around it tight. It's just because the next step 
we're gonna heat it and so it retains the curl and it will shorten it up and it'd be easier to keep it contained and out of the way inside the truck. My wife's beating her truck up, <laughs> sending her wheels flying. Yep. Well, Hopefully yeah. she's not losing the little pieces. No, I got those. Yeah, I lost the tire. All right, now we have it curled real nice. And hold the light. The the servo's heavy enough; it'll stay. And take a lighter and just apply some heat to it to get it to. Just to get it to do that, no, voila, it takes up a lot less space when you try to put it in your truck and it's not hanging out. I mean, if you want it straight and you want to wrap it around stuff in there, you could do that too. This is just a little bit nicer. So now to plug in like that and you have a nice coil. All right, so now we got to start disassembling the truck. Wife has her wheels off already, some of them. So now it's time for her to start doing links and brass knuckles. All right, guys, as you can see, I pulled off the one wheel on my my truck to access this screw back here. It's the only screw inside that you have to take out that you would have to remove the wheel for it just makes it easier once the wheels off mm -hmm. and that's the screw to your a link your v link whatever you want to call it it looks like an a it looks like a v and mm -hmm. people might call it a y so one screw there I'm going with the little pliers. So just, well, I guess I should unscrew it all the way. That might help. All right. Now it's free. We'll put it aside. All right. So now that servo will lay front. Come up here. And we're gonna I better see it better if I go this way. All right, so the servo wire is the one that's yellow, red, and brown. I'm gonna pull that out. Now you can see what I mean by how short it is. Yeah, if I watch what I'm doing with my camera. Yeah, that's only about three inches long so now I like to take this out in in an assembly it as one piece so you have screw here no screw here screw here and two back here one here one here and then it oh that's right Oh, man. I'm going to be doing this again. I have steering links coming for this. But they're not going to be here till tomorrow. I could take it apart and put the new servo in, put the new horn on, and leave it apart till tomorrow. It's not like I have to use it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll take it out, take this out, and put the new servo in. And we'll just wait till the... Uh, steering links come in to finish it and then, then I'll uh, help my wife work on her truck all right so I'm gonna start by pulling these two screws out at the, out at the 
knuckles, the steering knuckles. This this is why if you're gonna do upgrades, try to get everything all at one time. That way you don't have to take it apart, put it together, take it apart again, put it together. Alright, so by taking these two these two end screws out, it lets this flop around. Now you can get in here to your two servo mount screws without taking the servo horn apart. And if you take it apart as an assembly, it's a lot less work than taking each piece out individually. You can take it apart later outside of the truck if you want. I'm going to mark this one with a, mark this servo with an X or take, just throw it away. Just take it apart and throw it out. These servos really don't like a whole lot of weight once you put them put weight on your steering. I said I got about 10 minutes out of it once I put weight on it. All right. Now it's now it's free from the the axle housing. And yes, the drive shaft does pull apart when you when you do that, so you will have to play with the drive shaft to uh, mm -hmm. put it back together. But with it tipped out, it's a little easier to maneuver. New servo on the new mount. It does come with new screws. You can put the old screws in, it doesn't really matter. That one started. Find the other one. That one's tight. I'll tighten up the other one. All right, well, now the new servo's installed, and this coiled up wire is gonna, gonna go up through here. Put it over the headlight wire, that'll hold it, that'll keep it up. Leave yourself enough for suspension travel. Try to pull it back so it's not getting pinched in the frame. And then plug it in. I'm gonna use the needle nose pliers for that because I can't get in there with my fingers. All right. So now, the first thing I'm gonna need to do Get that drive shaft back in. All right, 
drive shaft in. I'll bring that a bring that a link down. Kind of snaps in. links back in and tight so when I get my uh, when I get my steering link we'll get this all hooked up like I said I don't need to use this truck today so not a big deal it's not like I have to drive it to work can wait for the parts to show up if I want to play I have the whole collection. Alrighty, well that's that's it for the Jeep for now. So we're gonna move on to the uh, wife's rig. She's got it all prepped and ready. Ready to go. So here we go. I'm gonna lay out those parts. And we'll be back. All right. As I last said in the last part of the video, waiting for parts to show up. Here they are. Green steering links. Now I can get that, get that servo connected. Get these things open. Get to it. They also have a green steering horn. It's a little bit different of a shade of green, but it's okay. Get this thing competition ready in no time. All right, we got all the parts out. So now we're gonna get get it together. I'm gonna put 
the screw on the horn before I put the horn in because the screw goes in from the back. So now, oh, let me pull the clip off the body. Servo horns on. Screws in. It's tight. Now we'll do our link shot at our, our knuckles. Alrighty, all done. So now, now it'll steer. It'll be better than stock. So we've got heavy weights inside, brass knuckles, aluminum steering link, Emacs servo, metal bumpers, Enjoro 43 millimeter shocks, custom paint. Uh, Enjoro wheels, and we've got RC four wheel drive Milestar Patagonia MTs. Uh, this thing should be ready to tear up the course. Added a little piece on the end. Some people wanted something without much of a challenge, but what fun is that? Alrighty, boys and girls. RC cars aren't just for kids. So, uh, buy them, drive them, love them, build them.